It's bound for glory. Mia Yim versus Mickey James. Well, you know what they say, the sharpest iron is forged in the hottest fires, and Mickey James has thrown herself in to the hottest one that there is. Imagine what's going through the mind of Mia Yim, beginning at such a young age, trying to learn in the same place that Mickey James learned this craft. And fast forwarding to this very moment, the biggest stage that Impact Wrestling has to offer. How do you not let the pressure get to you? Because Mia Cover. Yim Cover. has now had a very, very successful and lengthy career herself. She's reached a point where she is on the same level as Mickey J. She's not that kid anymore, intimidated by a legend of the ring. No, no, no. She's trying to become a legend in her own right. Here's the question. Will Mia Yim have the proverbial killer instinct when the time comes? That's a hard question. It's, I, I, I don't want to make any uh, old yellow references here or anything of the like, but Mia Yim is proven time and time again she's willing to do what it takes to make history. She did that with her performance in the Triple Threat Revolver. She's willing to do that here tonight against Mickey James. Early on, Mia Yim trying to control Mickey James as nimble as ever. Whoa, James trying to take Yim off her feet. Yim there showing that she's learned a thing or two as well. Definitely some similarities. Yim, of course, learning from James over the years. And great job there by Hardcore Country. Whoa! Both women thinking the same thing. Almost, uh, mirror images of there, both thinking the same thing. Mia countering some of the stuff. Mickey's busting out. Mickey doing the same. I talk about the pressure that's on Mia Yim, of course. If you win the matchup, Mickey James is about to retire. But. Talk about risking it all. Mickey James putting her entire career on the line just to get back to the top, to get back to the knockouts world title. Well, I said it when she first made the declaration. I have a lot of respect for that. There's a lot of people who just would want to live on in a career, flying by their coattails, getting what they can get, just oh. doing, doing the bare minimum. Mickey James. Hold on, cover, cover here, kick out at one. Has thrown herself into the deep end there and wanted to prove to everyone another cover here. Cover. Big kick out. Wanted to prove herself against the very, very best. And it has been getting tougher and tougher every time she's done this. Mia Yim being probably the biggest challenge yet. Bit of a standoff here at Bound for Glory. The question for Mia Yim in my mind is not whether she's willing to do the deed, to do what she's got to do to beat Mickey James. It's if you do that, if you succeed in your mission, how do you live with it, knowing that you ended the career of one of the greatest women to ever lace it up? That's my question for me and you, and something she'll have to figure out should that outcome come to pass. And look at Mickey James, just finds her way out, knows every trick in the book. Simultaneously, whomever walks out of bound for glory as the Impact Knockouts World Champion, whether that be the reigning champion, Jordan Grace, or her challenger, Masha Slamovich, later on tonight. You've got a bullseye on your back if Mickey James wins this matchup because this will be a gigantic win for James. Cup. 100%, and, but I'll flip that one on its head as well. No matter who wins that Knockouts World title match, Mickey James has a hell of a challenge ahead of her at some point. Jordan Grace, Masha Slanovic, that is going to be incredible later on tonight at Final Four. Yeah, and it looked like Mickey James on the landing there tweaked on her left knee. He's got to be careful about what she does at this point. You want to take care of any kind of tweak, any kind of injury, but at the same time, this is pro wrestling. This is the Wolves' den. If you show any kind of weakness, your opponent, respect or no, is going to take advantage. Elbow there by Mickey James. And James just trying to control Mia Yim. Right now, oh, oh, that leg oh. again. Oh my God! Just dragging it across the shoulder of Yim, doing more damage. And the referee checking on Mickey James to see if, he, see if she can continue. Tell the referee, yes, I can. We want to get one more look here at exactly how Mickey James was injured in the process. Watch this, was going into the corner here. Look at the bulldog there, and just watches the knee collapse. And once again, back to live action, the knee gave out again. And you saw the way you, it landed there, just bent like the wrong yes. way. That is not the way knees are supposed to bend when you land on the ground like that. And ever since, there's that target. There's that laser sight on the leg oh. of Mickey James. DDT. Here's the cover, hooking the injured leg, and a kick out. 
Mia Yim is taking advantage. Watch this. Boom! The shot to the left knee here. Mia Yim, as many would have expected, trying to take advantage here in this moment. And why wouldn't you? That's exactly what I said. And that's why I said Nikki had to be careful about what happened in those very important seconds after she first heard it. If you're Mia Yim and you knew you held back, you'll regret it forever. Oh! You have to do, the bell rings, you do what you have to do to win. There is an instinct in every professional wrestler that tells them that. Mia Yim and Mickey James, both of them are no different. Critical opportunity there for Mickey James. Hits the neck breaker, creates a little bit of breathing room between herself and Mia Yim. Much needed breathing room. She's gonna need all the space, all the time, all the recovery she can get. Mickey is fighting through the pain. Watch this beautiful neck breaker here, but just enough to get her that very important breathing room. Oh, forearm shiver and listen, I think we can be watching the final moments of Mickey James' career. Oh, you gotta only imagine what's going through the head, the heart of Mickey James. Not wanting it to end like that. I, I some kind of a, a tweak, a, a happenstance situation like tweaking your knee in the middle of a match. That is not how you want to go out of this business. You want to go out at your very, very best. No questions. Bit of a mean streak there by Mia Yim. And as I mentioned moments ago, it's necessary in a match like oh. this when the stakes are this high. And Mickey James needed that one. Able to take Mia Yim down with a Fez press. Fighting through all of the pain. Oh. Trying to stay alive in this one. And now Mickey James pushing through the pain. Oh, and you can see the way the left leg is cooperating. Even simple things like planting your foot can cause oh. agony. The fact that Mickey James oh, yeah. is even in there. She had to think twice about that. Oh. Nip up does it anyway. Oh, God. You're trying to fight the instincts of your body, the adrenaline from the crowd here, the biggest show of the year. You want to do, you want to put on a show. Mia Yim laying into Mickey James here in the corner. It's hard to fight the physical realities of your situation, but Mickey James ever uh -oh. defiant. Uh oh, look at the power of Mia Yim. Oh, oh and a Funko oh. bomb by Yim. As if the damage to the knee wasn't enough. Cannonball! Can Mia Yim end the career of Mickey James? Stacks up into the cover, can't get out by James! And look, we could talk about all the regret, all the pressure on Mia Yim as you take another look here. Look at this power bump into the buckle on Mickey James. You could talk about all that pressure, but what a feather in the cap of the career of Mia Yim. If she could say on her resume, I am the one who retired Mickey James. Out going to the top turnbuckle. And Mickey James is in a bad situation here. Oh, shots right to the ribs here by Mickey James. Mickey James not going to quit here tonight at Battle for Glory. Oh! And it's never too late in the matchup to play some mind games. Classic Mickey James off the top. Oh, and a kick out by him. And this is how you surprise somebody, as I said, in classic Mickey James fashion. And then taking a big risk with this best press onto that injured knee, but gets oh, the cover. Hold on, wait a minute, back to live action. Mickey James went for the mid kick, oh. but she got caught. Got caught in a stretch muffler from Mia Yin, just wrenching at that knee. Oh! You basically dragged James into a split there. She broke up the, the possible disqualification there from the referee, breaking before the five Ooh. kick, and the kick to the head. And now Yim with a German suplex. Cover to end James' career in a kick out. James somehow staying in this one, fighting through. Face of Mia Yim. You gotta imagine, I mean, especially after seeing what happened to the leg of Mickey James, she probably figured if I could target that for a little bit, I will put this one away. But me has not been able to do that. Mickey James. Mia Yim said she was sorry. Oh! Going for the defeat by Mickey James outside the ropes. Maybe just enough time there. Mia Yim into the cover. cover. To Mickey James. No, James grabs the bottle, bottom rope. A moment of desperation by Mickey James. And 
and my how things have changed. It was not seconds ago Mia Yim looked Mickey James in the eyes, said I'm sorry, hit the finishing shot. But it is the defiance of Mickey James grabbing the bottom rope that has incensed Mia Yim now for the moment. And now Mickey James once again could get caught by oh! Angel Free, but finds a way out. The damaged left leg. Kick him with that bad leg, but nails it. Now looking for the DDT. On one of the Mick DDT, Mia Yim prevents it. Just toss James. And Mickey James saying, come on, Mia. Oh, in front of the cannonball in the corner. Mickey James says she wanted the best of the best of the best, and she 